Welcome to Windows on the World. Now with the Grenfell Tower disaster and the evacuation of these tower blocks recently, it's really shown up what this thing called regeneration is really about. And what it is actually about is the demolition of all council housing. Following the Grenfell Tower disaster, it was stated a new independent public advocate would be created to represent the bereaved families. There would also be a civil disaster reaction task force set up. Kensington and Chelsea Council leader Nicholas Paget Brown had resigned. Mayor of London and globalist glove puppet Sadiq Khan says the whole council needs to be taken over. What he means by that is the narrative will be controlled and there will be no public opinion or input allowed. We've got to remember that Sadiq Khan signed up with Savills, the estate agents, to build on demolished council estates. Theresa May immediately appointed commissioners, or change agents, to take over the running of the council. The chief executive of the group that manages Grenfell Tower, Robert Black, has resigned from the Kensington and Chelsea Tenant Management Organisation. A retired judge heading the public inquiry stated, it may not be widespread enough to satisfy all survivors. They are just going to focus on what started the blaze and why it spread so quickly. Well, the narrative is being controlled. This video and the videos which are linked to it will explain what the bigger picture of this so-called regeneration is all about. That takes us into what we're going to talk about. On the Richie Allen show, um, last week I did a show which is entitled The Social Cleansing of Places Like Grenfell Tower is all part of Agenda 21 and Agenda 2030. Now, don't worry if you haven't heard about that. Most people haven't. But I'm going to give you the bigger picture of what's going on in your area. We're not just talking about London here. We're talking nationwide and indeed worldwide. This is a global agenda which is being put into force locally so regeneration let's have a look at what regeneration really is it's a corporate land grab to implement corporate governance that's all regeneration is it's got nothing to do with regenerating an area it is to destroy existing communal venues libraries activity centers and non-corporately run venues now you'll all remember that you used to have pubs where have those pubs gone yes they've all disappeared and along with a lot of so-called real community venues, and I'm not talking about community hubs. So these community hubs and community interest groups with their community organisers are controlling the narrative of public dissent in your community. There are people there who are paid to bring in this agenda of so-called regeneration. And they're being broadly mentored into the principles of what is called Agenda 21 or Agenda 2030. Now, all this is done on the back of something called sustainable development and ties into the climate change agenda. So what you're going to see is lots of people being brought into your area who are very much pro-climate change and pushing these agendas. Now, we're not talking about saving the planet here, we're talking about corporate governance. So these people are turkeys voting for Christmas. Now, your voice will be neutralised unless you act in groups outside community action groups. Now, councils set up community action groups which are there to neutralise opposition. So in other words, you might be encouraged to take up a court case and that may be funded by people within the community. Those court cases will be held in private and opposition will be destroyed and neutralised. This has already happened and it's available in our documentaries are things that are on windows on the world.net i'm going to give you all the links in a minute now these agents of change are being trained in the public and private sector now in 2011 one of these change agent groups quoted in parliament it's on record and it's also available in a document called big society change agents here's the quote the result of the cuts will be one of anger the degree of which is yet to be realized the idea of the big society is to galvanise that energy before it takes hold. So, in military intelligence terms, and this is what they're doing to us, they're using military intelligence language, they are going to neutralise opposition. Okay, that's very, very important. Now, council duties and liabilities are being removed under corporate governments and under the global action plan implemented locally. So, council spokespersons and people that you meet as officers in the councils are merely actors repeating these catchphrases and sort of sound bites really for corporates 
Now, councils are ignoring judicial review. This is very serious. And this is another indication that we're under corporate governance. So, um, see, BBC lies and Lambeth corruption exposed on Windows on the World YouTube and Windows on the World.net. Now, these council employees are getting incentives for their treachery. This is very true. Cabinet member for the environment in Waltham Forest, after the implementation of a thing called Mini Holland, had a 24% pay rise. So incentives are being given. Now, the Housing and Planning Act makes it easier to get rid of planning consultations, which is why you're not being involved anymore. All council consultations are fake and the deals have already been done. Now, what's happening is they're using a technique called Delphi technique, which was invented by the Rand Corporation in the 1950s. It's a way of controlling public meetings or corporate meetings. Basically, you have an agenda and you appear to offer choice. It's a bit like sales. They close the doors after you. Would you like a red or a blue one? Oh dear, the blue one won't be in for several weeks, but the red one's on special offer. This is the kind of thing they do. It's a lot more sinister than that, however, because they neutralise opposition and they will antagonise people to respond aggressively. Okay, so what, look at um, videos on the Delphi technique because all council meetings and public meetings in this country are now controlled by facilitators using Delphi technique. So evictions are happening all the time and those evicted from council places cannot speak out because they will lose their right to council housing if they say anything and this is happening all over the country so people are being socially cleansed into different areas and one of the reasons for this is to stop dissent so people can't get together now Savile's estate agents are writing policy for councils implementing the city villages agenda which is again part of this agenda 21 and complete streets, which is another initiative of theirs, which means a complete demolition of all council housing in London. OK, so another thing that's very important is the Brownfield Summit of 13th of April 2016, which has categorised all London council estates as brownfield land. This means they're on a par with contaminated ex-industrial land so in other words that's real social cleansing they're classing council estates as dirty land which needs to be cleansed obviously by big corporates now the summit invited foreign investors to buy up the land which will be developed by the likes of Bechtel and Lendlease look at your council's preferred partners in regeneration you're bound to see these names cropping up Okay, so once the council estates are knocked down, that means lifelong tenancies are gone, along with property rights. This is very, very important. A big part of this agenda is to get people into tiny little places, and this is all part of Agenda 21, in absolute poverty. So they're paying a fortune for somewhere they can never even own. And that's a big part of it. Private property is to be destroyed along with private travel, which is why there's a war on the motorist in cities. It's not about um, environmentalism, I can assure you. I've seen the documents and they're all available. So once these council estates are knocked down, new short tenancies with very, <laughs> new short tenancies with very draconian stipulations will be issued. That's very important. Property rights again being removed those who purchase their council properties will be given pennies on the pound and the new builds for so-called affordable housing start at around three times or more of the amount paid out i.e uh, one example i saw at a council meeting in southwark was a woman with a two to three bedroom council flat being offered one hundred and thirty thousand pounds she asked how much a new build was a one bedroom flat started at four hundred and fifty thousand pounds clear social cleansing okay so the other thing is self-employment and businesses are being destroyed by councils who lie about helping small businesses. Self-employment and any form of autonomy is outside this new global paradigm. Now that may sound very strange to you, but I have examples in those videos that I'm going to quote in a minute. So don't believe anything the councils tells you. Act in small groups and do not get involved in anything to do with the council. Don't believe anything your council tells you. Act in small groups beneath the corporate radar. That means beneath the council and government radar too. Every Sunday, 9 till 11 p.m. 
on autonomousmedia.net. I do a show where we talk about issues like this. I'm also on autonomousmedia.net every Wednesday at 1 a.m. GMT if you're up talking to Chuck O'Celli in America. We also have regular updates and articles and many videos uploaded. We put new videos up every week at windowsontheworld.net. We also are a completely voluntary organization. It's just me. And um, if you would like to contribute to what we're doing, please go to the website and donate. I want to keep bringing this information to you. So please get busy and start taking these corporates on because there isn't much time. So the shows that I was going to refer you to were the Richie Allen Show, Mark Windows, the social cleansing of places like Grenfell Tower is all part of Agenda 2130. You'll see it on Richie's YouTube channel. There's also Social Cleansing Agenda 21 Explained, which is that mirrored on windowsontheworld.net. There's an article called Big Society Change Agents, which includes many videos on windowsontheworld.net and also the Global Local Cabal on the website. Now, if you go into our video section, you will see probably about a dozen videos on this so-called regeneration and what it's meaning to local people and the solutions. I've tried to give you a very, very short introduction to all this. So do a bit of research, go out, don't believe me, (laughs) have a look for yourself and remember, get busy about it because there isn't much time. We'll see you soon on Windows on the World.